Now, there's a segment of these chats, you may have heard of it, it's called Overrated or Underrated. So I'm going to call out a uh, few sure. names, books, whatever. You're free to decline <laughs> if you don't want to offend anyone or other reasons. <laughs> sure. But we'll try just a few and you tell us. Overrated or underrated? J.K. Rowling. As a writer, I feel perhaps overrated. But as a cultural phenomenon, I think perfectly fine. I mean, it's hard to say underrated because she is sort of the Naples Ultra of uh, children's writing. Uh, so, uh, Goethe, overrated or underrated? Uh, especially in English, uh, absolutely underrated. Goethe is a far more significant author than anybody here seems to realize. Mm -hmm. And the TLS just has a review of a new Princeton anthology of the essential Goethe, a yes. thousand pages. And, um, uh, you know, that's, that's, you, can't, you can't stuff him into a thousand pages because there is so much there and so much variety, too, which is also one of the astonishing things. He's, you know, the greatest poet of the times, the greatest dramatist of, of his times. And he was an astounding uh, novelist as well. And there, a scientist, there. a good scientist. Uh, yes, yes. And the conversations with Ekerman and so on, you know, you have all these different things which are just, just superior literature. So he, in English, he's vastly under it. In Germany, I think they get it. They, mm -hmm. they, they, Angela Merkel, underrated or overrated? <laughs> I actually have not ever read anything by Angela Merkel. <laughs> no, not as a writer, uh, as a political leader. Um, uh, again, it probably depends where uh, I, I admire her. I, I think among the political leaders currently operating in um, uh, Europe, and especially since we're speaking shortly after the whole Brexit vote and the mm -hmm. uh, turnover that happened <laughs> in England there, uh, I, I, I think she's uh, probably underrated. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Herman Melville. Um, probably also underrated. I, I, I We're agreeing on, on all these so far, <laughs> if you're curious. Uh, all, all, all right. Um, yeah, I think uh, people don't uh, also range far enough with uh, Melville. Um, I always, I always, when the argument of the great American novel comes up, I always make a plug for The Confidence Man, which I think is sort of uh, representative. It says so much about America mm -hmm. uh, that I think that, that would be my choice for the, the great American novel, uh, and especially from Belleville. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I think he's also uh, underrated. Thomas Bernhardt. Um, well, he's very fashionable, uh, but also I, I don't think he can be underrated. I'm, I'm also uh, complete, completely behind him. I think he was a remarkable author. I've always enjoyed, even though there's a droning similarity to much of his bitter ranting, um, it, it completely wins me over. And I, I don't think I've been disappointed by any, any Bernhardt. Um, Wittgenstein's nephew is my favorite. Uh, and then the loser, Der Untergeier. Yeah. But all of them, I think, are fantastic. Yeah. For, for me, very underrated. Another Austrian, Friedrich A. Hayek, the economist. Um, Again, you're free to pass. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, he's, he's uh, I, I perhaps don't like what he, his arguments are always employed for. I mean, mm -hmm. currently, he's obviously a very um, uh, popular mm -hmm. economist to, to rely on. Um, and I think it, it gets dangerous with you know, the interpretation of the philosophy. So uh, I'm a bit more leery of, of too much enthusiasm for him. But again, obviously such a significant figure that it's very difficult to underrate him, I think. So for fiction, what would be the country or region? Now, what's a country, what's a region? It's even up for grabs. But that is really underappreciated relative to what it has done. So if you say, oh, classic Russian fiction, even if people haven't read it, I mean, people know there's a lot there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't pick that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what's the counterintuitive pick for most underrated region or country for uh, a wonderful fiction? Uh, under, uh, I would absolutely think um, uh, the, the regional language literature of India. Uh, I think uh, surprisingly, even though uh, India is perhaps the main literary, uh, English is the main literary language of India and a great deal is locally translated, uh, even there much of the uh, vernacular literature still isn't available in English. And uh, what one can see of it, and also in part hear about it, uh, we're missing an awful lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there really, uh, there is a literary culture there 
especially, for example, in Bengali, but we've had that since Tagore. And one of the remarkable things is even, you know, Tagore won his Nobel Prize over 100 years ago, and there's still novels by him which haven't been translated yeah. into English. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's, he's really a very good novelist. And it's, uh, uh, yes, truly worthwhile. And uh, this goes for many regions of uh, uh, the southern region of Kerala, where they write in Malayalam, mm -hmm. not Malay Malayalam. Um, uh, it's, uh, there's a remarkable literary production there. And we just see so little of it. And, so, and it's also what is available, because a fair amount is, uh, it tends to be underappreciated, especially uh, in America and the United Kingdom. So it hasn't really reached these shores. And would you pick any part of the world as overrated for literature? In a way, I know you think it's all underrated, but in relative terms. Um, I, I think the American dominance is still too overbearing worldwide. So I, we I, agree on this too. I'm happy to hear you say <laughs> that, but go on. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think it just, uh, it's just, it's, uh, uh, American literature is too often given a free pass, uh, especially abroad. Uh, because you know we're so used to it, it being so dominant, uh, and so I, I really think uh, if any is overrated, it is American fiction. Most of it bores me, and mm. like one of my pieces of advice for people going to a bookstore, I would just say, don't buy an American novel. <laughs> All other things equal, yeah, because they're fairly likely to do so. Yeah. They're more likely to have heard of it without any kind of bias necessarily sure. operating. Yeah. Yeah. Just refuse to buy American novels for a year. I think is a good piece of that, advice that for a lot of people. That is probably, yes, it probably is, yeah.